have you recovered from Chelsea? I, I don't think anyone can ever recover from Chelsea. It's that addictive, is it? <laughs> okay, so are you ready? Yes, let's do it. I have a passion for art and also for peonies. So I simply put them together. When I paint peonies, I feel happy and I want to share that happiness with other people. I found uh, my uh, tranquility through art, through painting peonies. Uh, it's my own meditation. So that's how I created the Peony Girl. I am a self-taught artist. I always like painting, um, but only really started to have the chance and the time of doing uh, or painting uh, when I left uni. Um, and I just, I just like it. Everywhere, actually, um, I like to paint in different techniques. Uh, for example, the traditional Chinese uh, technique, uh, gongbi painting, which is a meticulous style painting using ink and pigments on rice paper and silk. Uh, people who know me also know that I like Impressionism painting. Uh, and uh, for example, Monet and Van Gogh, are two of my favorite uh, Impressionism masters. So for those paintings, my uh, these kind of paintings, my inspirations are from life, garden, poetry, poetry uh, and sometimes my dreams. So I like to create a scene uh, from my imagination first and then start looking for um, references and often uh, the end results are very much different from what I planned uh, uh, from my imagination at the beginning. But um, uh, it's a feeling, uh, an atmosphere or, or, or the soul I, I am after. Um, but this year I have started a project called the Peony of the Month. So during the flower season, I paint from life. Um, and they're very different from my Chinese ink uh, paintings or oil impressionism paintings. For these kind of paintings, I'm uh, after not only the aesthetics of the flower, but also the accuracy of the flower. Yes, technically, it's the first time the Peony Girl was exhibiting at uh, Chelsea Flower Show. Um, it all started with uh, two years ago, I was invited uh, to present and show my paintings at Beanie Plants uh, Chelsea Flower Show stand uh, as part of the story of where peonies were originally uh, from. We were very lucky to meet the Queen and the Princess Michael of Kent, and I presented uh, them my silk uh, fence, my hand-painted silk fence. So that were that encouraged me to apply for uh, uh, our own trade stand this year under the name, uh, uh, the brand name, the Peony Girl, to share the Peony Girl experience and lifestyle with with everyone. As I said, uh, peonies and art make me happy, and that is why I want to share, share it with others. The Peony Girl is not just about painting. Uh, it's about noticing beautiful things in life and enjoying life. Um, that's why I starting to create silk scarves and interior design, uh, like wall murals and wallpapers. So I launched them at this year's Chelsea Flower Show, especially after the pandemic, 
we all need a bit of outdoor and uh, escapism. Um, painting is also my creative and meditative process, especially the Chinese painting process is painstaking. Uh, I paint in uh, a very fine brush in ink directly onto silk or uh, rice paper uh, without sketching it first. This means uh, I cannot afford making any mistakes. Uh, and also the pigments I use are translucent. So I need to add many layers to the painting to get my desired depth and also vibrancy. So often seven to six to seven layers. Um, and sometimes it can go up to 12 to 15 layers of paint. This creative and meditative process helped me to slow down and it's good for my uh, mental health. So this is something I'd like to share with people, uh, slow down and enjoy life. And you'll notice many nice moment and thoughts when you are not rushing. Interesting, actually, a lot of people ask me about uh, um, the rice paper uh, as the ones they use to eat and melt in your mouth. I think that is a mistranslation. Um, the, the paper that uh, I use is actually made from mulberry uh, tree barks mixed with rice crops and other crops. Um, and somehow it, uh, uh, rice paper became the uh, official translation. I think it's kind of the origin um, uh, and a part of my heritage where we use mulberry paper and that's where relating to silk which we, I paint on as well. Uh, and my hometown where I grew up, Suzhou, is uh, famous for its silk, the uh, silk worm um, and the silk production. So to me, it's part of my culture, my heritage, um, linking silk, uh, mulberry, so-called rice paper, but actually mulberry, paper um, and uh, I want to bring it forward to make it uh, my own story on my heritage. So it was a peony girl room and we wanted to create this lifestyle to show that uh, a peony girl can fit uh, in uh, any part of a lovely English house. So one aspect of the room is a library or study uh, featuring the Xanadu painting set, which um, on the stand, uh, we uh, create this is deep but vibrant blue uh, fitting to winter. It shows a bit of uh, vibrancy, but also warmth. But you can also see at, uh, uh, in the video in my background, the Xanadu painting fits into a very modern uh, setting. So the Xanadu painting portray a uh, dreamy, um, utopia or imaginative uh, space that they can escape. So that is uh, one aspect of, uh, uh, of the stand. We also created uh, this space where you can uh, lie down on the chaise lounge, have a glass of wine, and under a moonscape, uh, enjoy a beautiful scene and a relax. So the moonscape is a warm mural uh, to show that we can create that atmosphere by painting on the wall directly or using wallpaper so that one can enjoy an outdoor indoor.
um, in the center, uh, central wall of the stand, uh, what we wanted to create was someone look out of the window and enjoy the scene and the fragrance from uh, a peony field. So the, the central uh, wall has a set of painting of, uh, of that scene. I started that painting uh, on the New Year's Day uh, this year. I thought after we, uh, all these lockdown, I want, my feeling was I wanted to go out, run around in a peony field um, barefoot. So that's how I started the painting. Um, and, but to, to me or to any artist, um, uh, a painting is never finished. So when I looked at the peony field and I thought, actually, I want to live next to a, a peony field like just like that. So that's how I started to create the window frame. And as if I live uh, the other side of that uh, of the peony field and added more peonies to the peony field, uh, to the window, uh, cut peonies uh, because I'm just peony mad. Uh, and um, also I wanted the fragrance to come in with the breeze, um, blowing the, or, or uh, flirting with the sheer curtain. That's how, that's the feeling I want to create. And then uh, in the summer, when there, there was a couple of hot days, I took the canvas out uh, to dry and it happened to be under my rose arch. And suddenly I saw the shadow of the rose, rambling rose leaves projected onto my canvas. And I thought, wow, they are so beautiful. I have to uh, uh, add them to my canvas. So I quickly traced them down. Um, but when I was tracing the leaves, I realized how quick, how fast the sun was moving. And literally time flies. And I then I really appreciate how those impressionism masters like Monet um, paint our plane to capture the lights, the colors, the emotions, the movements. So I I think I learned a lot from doing this painting. I enjoy the every moment. The inspiration uh, of the scarves, especially the peony field scarf, came from the feeling of someone running in the peony field like a ballet dancer, uh, not dancing on the stage, but uh, in the peony field, free and colorful and and fragrant and she's so happy and she's uh, leaping uh, uh, and gracefully uh, in and interacting with the breeze. That elegance, the softness uh, is something that I want to capture and uh, capture um, something that classic, that elegant and something that uh, you and I can own. Uh, and that's why I want to, it's not just the image I want to uh, capture, it's that feeling um, and imagination I want to capture. And I think the uh, a silk scarf is the best way to, to, to capture that. So to me, um, Art is not just something that you put on the wall. Uh, silk uh, scarf is a different media to me. And, and to me, art is something uh, you can wear. Uh, it's wearable or livable. Um, that's why uh, to capture that feeling and to capture the elegance, I started to design my own silk scarf as part of my creative and artistic uh, uh, process and getting inspirations from my existing paintings, but also uh, uh, different feelings, different emotions, 
and put them into it. Um, um, but when I finish uh, designing the silk scarf, I have also looked at uh, a, a good partner to um, make that silk scarf to life. I've looked at uh, uh, different mills, I've investigated the, uh, some big brands like Hermes, uh, Liberties, um, um, and talked to various uh, silk mills in Italy and in the UK. And eventually uh, we're very lucky uh, and decided to collaborate with a silk mill who has uh, over 300 years of uh, silk printing uh, experience um, in the north of England. And since my, uh, my creation, I'm from, originally from China, my creation, part of the, uh, uh, I still use the Chinese techniques and the scarves are designed printed and produced in the UK. So I say uh, my scarves are made at the beginning and the end of the Silk Road. I'm also looking for other medium uh, to create my art. Um, for example, uh, I've talked about the silk scarf. Silk is a, a medium. And at this year's Chelsea Flower Show, uh, it has proven uh, very popular. And um, some of my silk scarves and large shawl uh, are well sought after. And of course, I'm expanding my canvas. Um, and at this year's Chelsea Flower Show, I have also hand painted uh, my outfits. So I collaborated with a very talented young upcoming costume designer, uh, Li Sha Zhang, who is now designing and producing outfits for uh, some popular film productions and uh, including those of, from Netflix. So she designed the outfits uh, for the Chelsea Flower Show and I hand paint it uh, using Chinese gongbi uh, techniques as well as impressionism on the outfits. And to show that um, uh, art is wearable and it's another way to express um, the peony girl's uh, a style and free uh, to express the, uh, the, the the love for life, love for beautiful things in life. So, uh, and I'm not going to stop there. I'm looking for uh, new canvases, new um, uh, medium to introduce more of the peony girl lifestyle as a whole. Style-wise, uh, The Peony Girl is a combination of English romance with uh, oriental elegance. 